This guy said he's caught tiger shovel nose and red tail catfish in this lake. The line's moving. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's tension. Should I set? Oh, dude, it's big. Got him. I mean, that is such a beautiful catfish, bro. Right, Welcome we home, buddy. Here we go. Welcome home. Oh, he's ready to go. Nation, welcome back to another awesome video. Guys, we got a call today from a subscriber saying one of these little rats in these apartments has been letting their aquarium fish go into the pond back there. They said that there's lots of Paku. I think he said there's like five or something. And he said, yo, come catch these Paku. Throwing bread in this one corner. He gave me the exact corner where these fish sit. He said, you throw bread out there, they come straight up right away. So we're here today. You already know. I was like, dude, two videos ago, I just said that I don't want any more Paku. So I think it's just the Paku God's telling me that I need to take these fish. You know, I need to take them back and give them the right treatment they deserve not to be thrown out into a random floor upon so guys we're here today brandon this hook sucks this hook is bent even though brandon's trying to sabotage me we'll give it a shot today we got some bread we got some cat food because paku are, are filthy eaters they'll eat anything so let's go to the pond guys start chumming and see if we can see these fish come up i don't know how big they are he sent me a video he, he caught one before but i don't know how long ago that was you know paku grow very fast oh well, yeah the pond is right there Okay, we're here at the corner. Yo, look how cool this is. Imagine there was like a fish. Imagine the Paku was in there. There's a lot of baby fish. He's like trapped. There is a lot of baby fish. We're gonna get started with the chummy. We got cat food. I don't know why these fish like cat food, but they do. Should we throw a little? Just I say we just throw the whole bag out. So Paku, they're actually really fun to, to, to cast sometimes because usually they're smart. They can see you when their eyes come up. They're a very smart fish. Also, they put up a huge fight. Yeah, I don't know guys, I've never been here before, so we don't really know how long it usually takes for them to come up or what what we have to do. Maybe we have to maybe we have to stomp, you know? The kid did say to chum with bread, and I did not listen to him. I, I'm chumming with cat food. But we'll also throw some bread out there. Maybe they just only like bread for some reason. Frisbee! Frisbee! No one can throw better than me. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you chum right there, baby. Check this out, guys. Pay close attention. You wet the bread, you get it all balled up, and then you just smack it. Look at that. Look at that chum, dude. We'll get back to you once we see these fish. No sign of the Paku yet. I'm, I'm starting to think maybe now there's like a call we have to do that the kid forgot to mention. Yeah, fishy, fishy. Brandon, give a call. Well, you guys, we didn't catch any Paku. We didn't see any. So we headed to another spot later that day that another subscriber sent to us that holds some really exotic catfish. All right, guys, as you can tell, it's much later in the day. Um, we took a break from the Paku spot because we didn't see any Paku at all. I still believe they're in there. We'll hit it another day. But today we're just taking some time to check out some spots you guys, the subscribers, have given me. This lake right here, I was sent a message on Instagram by one of you guys. Sort of the same thing as like the Paku but basically we saved this one for later in the day because there's some really cool exotic catfish in this spot so i decided we'll come here later you know once it starts getting dark because catfish come out at night this guy said he's caught tiger shovel nose and red tail catfish in this lake so as you can tell there's apartments right there that's good news dude it's always apartments it's always the lakes near apartments because people in apartments they can't have huge t fish tanks or ponds when they get too big usually they just let them go in their backyard and i guess that seems to be the case here but we got some bait we got some uh, cichlids, tilapia. We're gonna go ahead and throw these guys out as dead baits on the bottom. We're gonna see if we can get ourselves a catfish. We might be here all night, but we are prepared for that. I really wanna get one. I've never caught a tiger shell the nose, a red tail, anything like that. Let's get a line out there with a dead tilapia. I think we should just throw it as far as we can in the middle. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you guys are seeing this video because that means we caught one because we struck out with the Paku. All right, let's get a bait out there. Should I hook it through the mouth? Yeah. Yeah, I'll hook it through the mouth. You want to chum a little bit out there too? Yeah, we'll definitely chum. Bit. All right, there we go. That's our bait today, guys. So I'm guessing, oh, dude, look how clear this is. I this like is it. sick. Okay, so I'm guessing the catfish sit as far out in the middle as possible, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Only Perfect. Yeah. Let's, let, let's let the line go in the water. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the rod here, actually. Yeah, you better watch that rod. That's my rod. Dude, this might take up. Yo, your rod, Brandon. It might go straight into the water. So well, this is a heavy duty we're setup. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna we're prepared for big fish. We're gonna have to keep an eye on this rod. All right, let's get some dead baits. Throw it out there. Some chum. You know, get some sit in the water. Get them all fired up. Yo, check it out. We went to the uh, one of our trap spots, the pipe traps, and we caught. Where are they? Look at the size of these catfish. Whoa. It's the same catfish we've been catching there, I think, but they're a lot bigger this time. Look how cool they are. We're Look not going to use those as bait, but we also, oh, we caught, we caught a crawfish too, but yeah, these, this is what we're chumming and using as bait, little tilapia. So we got a handful of dead tilapia. We're going to throw it out by our bait, chum it up. That's right, ambidextrous, right and left. There you go, Brent. Yeah, go on, set up camp. We're gonna be here a while. Oh, my butt is wet. Oh no. We should have brought some chairs. <laughs> Imagine us setting up some lawn chairs here, just setting up camp, get a little tent going. The line was moving out a little bit. Oh, oh dude, it's all cut up in the weeds. Dude, oh my God, I feel tension. Should I set? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. That felt big. That felt really big. You saw my hook. Dude, you saw my rod bend? Was there any marks on it? Yeah, dude, look. It's all chewed up right there. Guys, my line, we were sitting here, my line jumped. And I told Brandon to start recording, and then it kind of like slowed down, and it was like slowly moving. I set the I had. I think I had him on for a second, because my rod was like completely bent over. Look at my line. Wait, your line's moving. No, it, dude, it jumped. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh, it's a peacock, dude. Holy There's exotics in here. Crap, bro, that scared me. Oh. Damn, now I think the first one was a peacock. Oh, shoot. Dude, there's a massive one down there. Throw it back in real quick. That is so cool. Ow! Go back, go back. Okay, we need another bait. Let me grab a bait. We're gonna, dude, we're coming back tomorrow. He's on a bed. We're coming back tomorrow. We're gonna try and catch this peacock, guys. This thing's like six pounds at least. All right, it's too dark. We need the spotlight. <laughs> Wait, let's shine the spotlight on the peacocks. Ready? There they are. Oh, dude, look how fast the line's moving out. It's shooting out. Look at this, look. Should I set it? Oh. Slowly reel up, yeah. I feel something, hold on. There's tension, should I set? Oh, dude, it's big. Yeah, 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 go, 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 go. I don't let him eat, though. Hopefully we get this one. Got him. Oh, should I go get the oh, spotlight? Yeah, bro, it's heavy, it's heavy. Should I get the spotlight? Right here, right here. Let yeah. me get the spotlight. Okay, pause. Um, <laughs> basically, when I was saying, oh my god, it's heavy, it's heavy, I didn't realize that the little tiny catfish was just wrapped in a bunch of weeds. So that gave me and Brandon the impression that it was going to be a big catfish and that Brandon would have enough time to run, get the spotlight, and come back, and I would still be fighting the big catfish. We had no idea that the catfish would be so small, and by the time Brandon got back, um, it would already be on top, and the fight would already be over. So we were expecting a big catfish to take us on like a 20-minute run, so we wanted a spotlight to be able to see in the water, but yeah, turns out it was just a little baby. It's a baby right here, right here. Shine it. Look at that. Oh my god. It's a baby. It's just a little it's baby. A freaking, get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Oh my god! It's a freaking baby shovel nose. What? It's a freaking baby. Look how tiny he is. Look how sweet he is. Is it the same size as the other guy caught? I don't know. I think his was a little bigger. Oh, oh he's so fat. Dude, he's so beautiful too. Oh my gosh, yo, this is this is the first tiger shovel nose I've ever caught. What a beautiful fish. Get a good look at that. Look at the whiskers on him. Wow. Wait, can we see the tilapia? Open up. Do they have teeth? Oh wow, it? dude, this is so cool touching them. Look at that. Yo. <laughs> Run to the cooler. Got yeah, it. Come on. Bro, this is insane. There's a car. Oh my god, pull him, please. Oh dude, he spined my finger bad. Oh, he spined my finger really bad. That hurts. Look at that fish. Yo, this is so surreal right now, bro. We actually got him. Oh, he spun my finger bad though. Oh, that really hurts. <sighs> Brandon. We got like a 20 minute drive home. Yo, we got him though. Look how sick that is. Dude, I'm, this is crazy. This is the first catfish I've ever no. seen. I know, right? First like exotic catfish we've ever caught. Where are they from? Amazon? Amazon, I think, yeah. Oh, it's raining now too. That's what it looks at the rain. Oh, shoot. 
Ooh, dude, he got me right in between the fingernail. Oh, that really hurts. Oh, God, that really hurts, guys. Do not get stung by catfish, bro. They really freaking... Oh, I'm getting the chills now. Oh, I'm getting the chills. It is worth it, though. It's worth it because we got a shovel nose catfish, baby. Tiger shovel nose. The fight wasn't long at all. It literally just popped right up. Brandon, did you get the fight? Dude, there was literally no fight. I set the hook and it came straight up from the from the reeds. Look how big this rod is we're using. Dude, we were expecting like a big one. We came prepared with some heavy duty. He just, that was way overkill for that fish. Oh my God. <sighs> Brandon, let's get one more shot of me holding them. Hopefully you don't spine me again. That actually really hurts. I want to get one more shot of you. Dude, so beautiful. I mean, that is such a beautiful catfish, bro. Is that not beautiful? That's so sick, bro. Oh that my God. That is actually so sick. I am freaking shaking right now. Yo, shout out to the subscriber who gave us this spot. We'll definitely be back soon to try and get the red tails and uh i'm assuming there's more tiger shovel nose because the one he sent me looks like twice the size of the one that we just caught here no way yeah no seriously should it uh, should we put him into the the predatory pond or the paco and cichlid pond paco all right paco and cichlid pond yo guys if you want us to come back and uh fish this lake again maybe some bigger baits try to get some bigger catfish i really really want a red tail catfish too that's been on my bucket list so is this for the longest time and i've never been able to catch one because these guys these guys are a lot more rare than you know paku or whatever so it took like two hours to get this dude, one i'm we've so we've been on. here for two hours it's like what 11. yeah let's let's drop them it's, off it's worth drop it, them though. off and go get some mcdonald's it's worth it though we got ourselves a tiger seven those all right we'll see you guys back in my house big baby oh oh he's good look at him bro get a look at that oh my god dude i'm so excited to get this guy in the pond this has been one of my favorite fish for so long. And dude, these, these guys get big too. Like, I can't wait till he gets really big. We put him with the other big fish. Let's go this bucket. We're gonna acclimate him to the pond once we get there. Come on, bud. Dude, look at his whiskers. Oh my gosh, look at the pattern on him. I mean, you can't tell me that fish isn't beautiful. He's just so cool. It looks like a lion. It really does. A lion. I mean, tiger, yeah. No, 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 it's a lion. Lion, Have you lion. seen alfalfa? Lion shovel nose. All right, we're gonna slowly add some of the Paku and cichlid water into his. Slowly and surely acclimate him. That spotlight's crazy. Paku! Oh, there's a Paku. There's Pac Man. Pac Man. Pac Man right there. Um, we're gonna put him into here, grow him out, and then we're bringing him over here. And then right here, he's going to eventually end up once he's, you know, big enough so that Bane can't eat him. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. We've been acclimating the shovel nose. Check it out. There he is in there. Dude, he's he's too big. He doesn't even fit in the bucket like long ways. He's, he's curled up a little bit. All right. Come on, big boy. Oh, you're so beautiful. Yo, he's fat too. Yo, I didn't realize this about shovel nose, but they don't have scales. They're scaleless. You realize that? Look. That's it's all like smooth. Fish. Most. Wow. Right, Welcome we home, buddy. Here we go. Welcome home. Oh, he's ready to go. Oh, he's ready to go. Look at him. There he goes. You'll love those oh, shelters. He's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so hyped, dude. I am so excited. Look at him. He's got a nocturnal Amazonian beast in here, baby. That's pretty much how it goes some days, you know? We started off the morning going to the Paku spot that you guys sent me. By the way, st catching stuff like this, it is only possible because of you guys right now. Like, it makes it so much easier because if it wasn't for you guys going out there, finding these spots yourselves, and then letting me know because, you know, you're a fan, it would, you know, make me have to go out there and try to find them, which, you know, is a lot of work, a lot of luck involved. So thank you to you guys who are sending me lots of these spots, you know, pockers, catfish, crazy stuff like this. Um, I really appreciate it. It's really cool to go out and catch them, you know, with the help of you guys and bring them back to the ponds. Go down there, comment a name for our new Tiger Shovel Nose Catfish. This is the first one we've ever had on the channel. I'm super excited. So uh, yeah, guys, go down there, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.